The third hypothesis is something that I've been working on, and it actually supports the stampede idea. It takes it a little bit further. Instead of the animal stampeding away from a meat-eating dinosaur, it actually suggests that there was an ambush. Now, the original idea was to figure out how these footprints were formed, going right back to the basic principles of mud and feet. To make a perfect footprint, you have to have a perfect combination of mud, sand and water. If it's too wet and too sloppy, the foot will go through the mud and not form. If it's too dry, it won't even make an impression. So there has to be a perfect consistency of mud and water to, to make it look like potter's clay. And so when you put the foot into the mud and pull it out, all of these features are actually preserved. And as it's pulled out, you get these things called adhesion spikes, which is basically as the clay is sucked up underneath the toes, it forms these little crests. Now, in between the toes, when that foot goes into the mud, it forms these displacement bulbs. And basically what that is, is the mud pushing out from between the toes. So you have to take all of those into consideration to figure out what the actual foot shape was like that made the footprint in the first place. From this evidence, and combined with other features that were found on the trackways, we can show that the footprints weren't actually from swimming dinosaurs, they were clearly from running animals.